Hey guys, what's going on? Right now I'm in Taipei, Taiwan. Yeah, just been to the McDonald's here and there's a few unique things that I'm keen to try. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so up first we've got the Signature Series Chicken Truffle Burger. So there's a chicken and a beef version. Yeah, it seems like every country has like a Signature Series. I noticed that in Thailand that I was just in. But this burger looks pretty premium. It's more on the price end. It is good from smelling it. You can see those mushrooms there, cheese, slab of grilled chicken. This is gonna get messy. Oh wow. Got those mushrooms, that cheese, or oh, some like relish sauce, grilled chicken, onion, shit. Oh, mm. that is good. Oh, that combination goes so well together. Everything about it, that sauce, it's like mushroomy. Got the actual mushrooms, the cheese is just melted, the chicken, nice and um, juicy. Got the onions, oh, it's just, just like a perfect combination. Yeah, I don't think I've really had a truffle sauce in too many places. Can't really describe it, but it's like a mushroom sauce, but really good combination. So up next, I've got the chicken version's brother, the beef one. So it's pretty much the same, but just with beef. Oh, this patty does look a whole lot bigger. Yeah, I do think the beef will go better with the mushrooms. Kind of like a beef stroganoff, you know, beef and mushrooms. Good combination there. Holy shit, this is a monster. It's not all that big, it's just, just oozing. Wow, look at those mushrooms. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a premium version for a McDonald's standard. Oh, mm, mushrooms are good. Oh. You kind of still do get the feel that it is a McDonald's burger, but um, yeah, it's just... Definitely a more premium burger. Um, I'd probably prefer the beef. I think the beef does go better with the mushrooms. So what I got here is a shaker, um, like fried chicken. Um, there was two options for seasonings. I went with the hot and spicy one, and there was also a seaweed one. I like spicy, so I went with the spicy. Got a shaker bag, kind of like the shaker fries you'll see. I think I've kind of seen this thing in Malaysia, at the McDonald's there. I think they actually had it in Australia at one point. Dump this in. Do the whole lot. Now for the fun part. Alrighty, so we've got the seasoning applied. It's quite strong, it's making me cough. I can already like sort of smell it going on my nostrils. Yeah, decent piece of chicken. Quite juicy. The crumb, crumbing, it's quite light. Um, it's not too spicy, it's got a nice bit of spice. It's a pretty pleasant piece of chicken. Um, nothing life-changing, kind of what I was expecting. Alrighty, so what I got here is the Thousand Island Burger. It's not a premium burger, it's just like a small one. Um, looks like just the normal chicken patty, some Thousand Island, some lettuce. Doesn't look all that appetizing. We'll see what this Thousand Island Burger is all about. Oh shit, I was wrong. It's actually got a filling inside the chicken fillet. It looks like prawns or something that's actually inside the chicken fillet. Oh. Yeah, it's actually pieces of prawn inside the actual chicken fillet. Oh yeah, and yeah, that makes it go well with the Thousand Island. It's like a hybrid of a chicken and a seafood burger. Oh, wow. That is actually really good. It's like, yeah, prawns in there. It's crunchy on the outside with the chicken. Thousand Island is like a seafood sauce that goes well with it. That is surprisingly good. If we didn't have that prawn in there, it would have been, you know, meh. But this Thousand Island burger is definitely pretty my, it's exceeded my expectations. So it's the next day right now because um, obviously I can't eat all this McDonald's in one go. So we've got some more burgers. One thing I've noticed is they've got a lot of unique burgers. They don't have actually any unique desserts. They do have like um, teas and stuff, obviously because bubble tea's big here. But um, what I've got here is the Cajun Chicken Burger. Quite a simple burger. Kind of looks like you just eat regular McChicken, but it has that yellow Cajun sauce, lettuce, Give it a go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. It's got a bit of a kick to it. It's got some spice to it. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. It's kind of like a, it'd be like a McSpicy burger, but um, the sauce is what gives it the spice. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice sauce. Kind of reminds me of like a Chipotle sauce or something. Yeah, but it's got a nice kick to it. Chicken's pretty decent. So we've got another um, signature burger here. Had a bunch of different signature burgers. Oh, this one looks like yeah, the chicken BLT. They're always quite hard to grab a hold of these um, signature burgers because they're kind of big. Look at that. You can tell that definitely is higher quality. Look at this bun. That's a nice smooth finish there. And look at that presentation. Looks like they take a bit more care in it than they do in Australia. Oh, this sauce is kind of like a, oh, it's hard to tell, but um, yeah. Right, chicken piece, bacon, lettuce, tomato, you know the deal with the BLT. But it looks like some unique sauce. That chicken is good, it's quite different. It's... I feel like this chicken itself is more premium than that other chicken I've had. It's like a bigger, juicier filler. Uh, the crumbs kind of like lighter. It's like real good. Fresh tomatoes. And look at this lettuce. This isn't your regular iceberg lettuce. Oh, mm. I do not know what sauce that is. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like an orangey sauce. It's kind of got a bit of spice to it. That sauce, it sort of just brings it all together. This, this bacon, by the way, is pretty crunchy. Mm. Yeah, this is a quality burger, this um, signature series BLT. So what I got here, I can't quite remember if it's, oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a grilled chicken. I have this feeling in my head that it could have been pork. No, I'm pretty sure it's a grilled chicken burger, but um, kind of looks like that Cajun burger I had before. Kind of that same sauce and like a pillow of chicken, some iceberg lettuce. I'm not the best at differentiating the difference between pork and chicken. I'm pretty sure it's pork. It doesn't taste like chicken. Yeah, I think I think this is pork. Let's get a close up. Yeah, I've got to say that this is pork because it doesn't really taste like chicken. Um, the thing is, because when they print out the receipts, it's all in Chinese, so I can't really remember what I got. Can't remember from the time I was ordering it on the um, touch screen um, order board. It's falling apart, but. Anyway, it's still pretty good. So what we've got here is another signature burger. Now this one's beef. They um, press down whether it's chicken or beef. Okay, look at this one. This is a different different bun. It's like a, I don't know what type of bun it is, but this is obviously beef. You've got your mushrooms. You've got some kind of white sauce here. This was just called um, the signature like beef and mushroom burger. The other ones I had before were the um, uh, truffle burgers. Yeah, it's got sort of your regular cheese and it's got some white sauce. I'm not sure what this white sauce is. Yeah, one thing is um, they seem to really like mushrooms over here in Taiwan. Um, in the street food stores, um, they sell these like grilled mushrooms. Um, so that's kind of funny that it seems like they're mushrooms here. But anyway, onto the burger. Beef is okay, it's a little chewy. That sauce is, um... Oh. It's like an aioli. Pretty sure that's an aioli. And it's obviously got you. Your mushrooms, cheese. It goes pretty well together. Mmm, pretty solid burger. Probably prefer the, um, the truffle burgers more. And the BLT. So that is a wrap for this Taiwan McDonald's taste testing video. Um, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.